Very excited. This is a weird angle here. What if we just kind of like switch it around there? How's that? Is that better? This is weirder. This is weirder. This is fun. I'm so excited. Three years we've been making videos about reptiles. I've been screaming at a camera. And uh, it, that just that's all I do. It's pretty awesome. I highly recommend it. If you've ever thought I would like to scream at a camera and uh, make it what I do, then I you should do it because this has been pretty awesome. So thank every single one of you for uh, showing up and uh, subscribing to the channel, watching the channel, supporting for three years. I get to do what I love to do. Like I'm literally living my dream and it's because of you. So that is the sappiness out of the way. We're going to give away some stuff. Oh, we got to eat a pickle first. Like that's how, if you're new to the streams, my entire personality is dill pickles and we eat a bunch of them and that's it. So we'll leave this here. And we'll do the same thing we do uh, in every stream, just crunch in your ear. How's everyone doing? Hello from Mexico. I love to be in Mexico. Minus 14 or something like that here. This place, I tell you. So what we're going to do, uh, 124 people. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. <laughs> what we're going to do, um, we're going to give away th uh, some shirts. We're going to give away three shirts because it's our three-year anniversary. All right. I'm going to uh, stutter and say um and ah less than three times. That's a lie. Uh, we're going to talk for three hours. Also a lie. But we are going to give away some money to charity like we normally do. So if anyone wants to send a super chat, really appreciate it. January is a lean month for creators. Everybody knows that. Um, but 10% uh, of the net, as always, will go to USR. So, And every time uh, money comes in, I'll take a drink of pickle juice. So it's like a win-win. You have to like watch me suffer, even though it's not suffering. I love pickle juice. And uh, USR gets some money, and maybe we'll have less animal rights uh, being taken away from us. So with that said... Why don't we just lower this like a little bit? All right, you guys, I'm a professional. How's that? I know it's, I should have done this better. Whatever. Southeast Michigan, I bet you it's cold there. South Texas, I wish I was there. Pickle Mr. Clean. All right. My hands smell like pickles now. This is great. So, um, for the 165 of you who chose to do this on Friday, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, I imagine most of you might have been in like uh, places like I am, Ontario, where you literally can't go to your house. It's uh, everything shut down here. So you know, for those of you who actually had a choice to do something besides this, thank you for choosing this. You guys are freaking awesome. So again, uh, I wish I had the thumbnail in front of me. We had some. So oh, and and what we're gonna do? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Sorta's Exotics, four ninety nine. Thank you so much. Tortoise lovers clock in. I love tortoise. You guys want to see a tortoise? Here, I'll show you one real quick. Oh, I just like root here. One sec. Let me show you something. What I always recommend is uh, with your pickle hand, grab your tortoise, cut your tortoise with your pickle hand, and then stick your, your hand back in the jar. Because salmonella is only with bearded dragons. If the CDC didn't tell you that this week, you can only get uh, salmonella from bearded dragons. Definitely not tortoises. So anyway, tortoise lovers clock in. Thank you very much. So does exotics. There you go. I was uh, I was bored turtle by the way. I'm like pumped up. This is this is gonna be fun. I'm very excited. Hope you guys are having fun too. Listening to some bald idiot talk on the internet sounds like a good time. Uh, we had another one here. Alex Wood, nine ninety nine. Hey, huge fan. Got my first burn because of you. Love love him so much. Thanks for being an inspiration. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. You're uh, you're awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. And I hope that your berm is a, a good boy like uh, Kratos is. Because if you got a cranky berm, it's a bad day. That could be a bad day for you. Hey, Sherry LBW. Thanks for showing up. Long time support. It's funny. Like, I've been doing this for three years and there's some certain names. Here, why do I have it? Like, noise cancellation. No wonder I'm screaming. I can't even hear myself. Uh, there's certain names that have been around forever. And uh, anyway, so thank you very much. Um, you can keep the you can keep the cold. Thank you very much. Uh, the forty five degrees here is low enough. I don't know in Fahrenheit what it is, but it's minus twelve or minus fourteen Celsius right now. So what's that? Four degrees? Yeah. Uh, Lion destroyer, Des destroyer. Guys, you know you guys should know by now. I can't read out loud. Anyway, uh, lion. B, 1999. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, I got to drink some pickle juice, right? You guys said, I mean, 
That was a big swig because I missed a few. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Pickle juice is good for some things, right? It's uh, better than Gatorade. It's like for electrolytes, right? And uh, also, if you're hungover, it's good for that too. Uh, preemie mom to twins. Preemie mom to twins. So like you are a mom to preemie twins or you are a preemie and now you have two. Doesn't matter. Love your channel. I'm slowly wearing my husband down <laughs> about getting a snake. That's awesome. That's always part of it, right? Like, you know, wearing down your partner or your parents or whoever else. So that's wicked. I'm, I hope that he, uh, he goes for it. He will. Just keep pestering. He'll go for it. He'll go for it. Jennifer White, $20. Thank you, Jennifer. We wanted to say hello and that we live, we, we love watching with our beery Scooby. Thank you for all the work. And my mom wants me to tell you that she loves short, bald men. Sick. I am a short, bald man. So thanks to your mom. Appreciate it, Jennifer White. Thank you for the $20. You are, uh, you're awesome. You are awesome. Um, there was another one. We are giving stuff away. We're not just reading super chats, I promise. Uh, Night Wolf Reptiles, five Canadian dollars. Thank you very much. And for those of you who asked, our money does actually smell like maple syrup. It's a real thing. I wish I'm literally wearing sweatpants. I don't have a wallet, but it's colorful and it's polymer and it smells like maple syrup. Uh, you, sir, are an amazing person. Finally caught one of your streams. I watch all of your videos. Uh, you are easy to get a hold of. I try to be easy to get a hold of because at the end of the day, I'm just like some guy. So I, I would like to project that. I don't want to be like one of these uh, people who think that they're not some, I am just some guy. So thank you very much, uh, Sophie Snakes. I appreciate it. You're awesome. Um, Chris Blunden, six ninety nine Canadian dollars. Thanks, uh, Canada, for showing up. Well, I guess if you're Canadian, like what else are you going to do? Everything's shut down, right? Can't go anywhere. Hello uh, from Nova Scotia. Do maritime garters make good pets? If so, I didn't even know maritime garter was a species, to be honest with you. So I can't help you there. But uh, Nova Scotia is a beautiful place. I would move there, except for if you move there, then you have to live in uh, Nova Scotia. And it's cold. And uh, But you have an ocean. And that's good. And the trailer park boys are from there. So Nova Scotia is pretty dope. And you talk like Newfies, but one step above. My dad's from Nova Scotia. Um, CK920, hello from New York City, itching for a hog nose because of this channel. I wonder what the laws are in New York City. I know you guys have crazy laws with a bunch of other species. Are you allowed to have hog nose snakes there? But anyway, thank you for the $5. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. He really is a good guy, y'all. Thanks for lying, Jamie. Appreciate it. Um, just as easy as any other garter snake. Okay, so... Max says maritime garters are as easy as any other garter snake. So the more you know, the more you know. Um, I thought of an idea for 2022. Uh, Kit, $5. Do you like ball pythons or boas more? Ball pythons. I do. Thank you for the $5, Kit. But I prefer well, – they're just more trustworthy, and uh, you can call me a baby if you want, but I'm just like not a big fan of uh, getting bit by stuff. Very professional. All right, good. I filmed a really cool video today I want to tell you about. We um, we bought some of these enclosures, like these, uh, I guess, uh, what am I trying to say here? 20 or 36, right? That's three feet. 36 by 18 by 24. And I bought a few of them, and we kind of moved some stuff around. So some of the stuff back here is actually different, which is why this one's super dirty because there's nothing in it. We moved stuff out. So I know we have a cohab going on with some tree frogs and day geckos and my mints got an enclosure upgrade. And anyway, the video that hopefully will be out on Monday <clears throat> explains it more, but I'll tell you what, doing enclosure builds takes forever to film and they get like a quarter of the views. So it is totally not worth it financially, but I just love to do it because I like building enclosures and my favorite pastime is watching uh, Tanner and Troy Goldberg. So Surfa Design. And Troy Goldberg, I could watch those guys all freaking day. And if you're thinking, well, we know who Tanner is. Who the heck is this Troy Goldberg guy? You know, they sounds like a stock investor, not a frog guy. But uh, Troy Goldberg, he's got this really cool frog garage. And if you're into dart frogs, this guy has the – he is so underrated. This guy should have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. So anyway, that's my little free shout-out for Troy. Thanks for paying me so much money to say that, Troy. Uh, can you imagine? <laughs> uh, Hobo Pixie, $5. Would you ever – 
I would ne- I would have never felt confident enough to get my first autographs without you. My Xanthic Condon and I watch your videos together. Thank you for everything. Well, thank you, Hobo Pixie. That's a dope name, by the way, for uh, sending me money to scream at a camera on Friday. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Um, have you heard what happened to Stan? I imagine you mean Go Herping's Bearded Dragon. No, I haven't really watched Go Herping in a while. It's not like I don't like his channel anymore. I, I still like it. I just haven't. I've been busy. <laughs> I have been busy um yeah oh so do you remember me that's one of the comments in your opinion on uh yeah for sure i totally remember that um so we're gonna give some stuff away how about we give away a shirt right now just to like because i hate this you have to stick around forever and anyway so right now we're gonna give away a shirt all you have to do to win this shirt is in the comment section right now Hashtag shirt. Just go. Just write hashtag shirt. I'll talk. And then in two minutes, I'll pick a random winner. That's how I do it. So hashtag shirt. There you go. So I can see a couple of them coming in. Just keep going bombs away. And uh, we'll stop that in a second. You guys are freaking awesome. 244 people. <laughs> For some bald idiot to scream at a camera about reptiles. You guys are freaking awesome. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So. Since so happy new year, I guess, right? Because we haven't talked since the new year. Um, interesting couple of uh, weeks. So we got a puppy on Christmas, a golden retriever puppy. The reason we got it on Christmas is because I couldn't see my family because I had COVID. So I got COVID at the end of the year, and we got a puppy. So that was good. It was like canceling each other out. Uh, and then highly underrated. My family did Christmas uh, on New Year's Eve. And that means that I could do all my shopping the Wednesday after Christmas in an empty mall when everything was on sale. So I highly recommend getting COVID at Christmas. I'm kidding. Don't get COVID. But anyway, that's, that's, uh, what else has happened? That's pretty much it. I live in a, everything shut down here. Okay. You can stop with the hashtag shirts. I'm going to pick a winner right now and we'll get back to your regularly scheduled programming. Okay. Ready? You, uh, Amanda Carlisle. Amanda Carlisle here. I'll, uh, so here's Amanda Carlisle. You are the winner. So if Amanda, here's how you collect your shirt. Wiccans, wicked reptiles at gmail.com. Wiccans, wicked reptiles at gmail.com in the subject, Amanda Carlisle. I won the shirt, whatever. And in the description or in the body of the email, just let me know color size, uh, shipping address design, like everything that I would need to know to send you a shirt and I'll get one out tomorrow. Or on Sunday. Patriots play tomorrow night and I have to edit all day. So it'll probably be Sunday, but I'll get it out this weekend. All Canadian Reptile Girl, 10 Canadian dollars. Hello from a couple hours down the road. Doing my part to pickle your stomach. Hey, thanks, Annalise. Appreciate it. I only have four more pickles in here. So I got a lot of pickle juice. Thanks, Annalise. I appreciate it. Hope to see you at uh, Reptile Expo real, real soon. Although I don't know if I'll go to the next one because it's on Super Bowl Sunday and I'll be pickled, pickled. <laughs> so silly. Um, the reptile verse, nine ninety nine American dollars. Thank you. Oh, we've got to talk about moving to the U.S. too. Hey, Adam, nice to see you in another live stream. I'm finally getting into colubrid. That's cool. I am uh, either getting a garter snake or a hog nose in a week or so. Both of those are amazing. So thank you, the reptile verse, uh, from the nine ninety nine. And no matter what you get, they're both freaking awesome. Um, Kit, another 10 bucks. Thank you very much. I, the heartburn and burp. So it's just going to happen. Sorry. Excuse me. Without you, I would never be comfortable enough to get a ball Python. Thank you much for your content and attitude towards reptiles. Well, thank you for watching the channel. And, uh, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the ball Python build that we did last week. Then we did a hog nose one. And then on Monday, I just started filming, um, for, well, I guess you'll find out on Monday, but it's a bioactive. It's really cool. This, honestly, this is the best one we've ever made. They just keep getting better and better. Dainty dinosaurs. Hey, I know you. Uh, hey, Wiccans, thanks for all you do for US Ark and reptiles in general. Also, thanks for the support back. Love the channel. Eat a pickle. Okay. Stick my uh, my tortoise hand into the pickle jar and uh, take a little bit of a bite of a... Oh, wow. That was a whole pickle. Thanks, Dainty Dinosaur, for the four. Dainty Dinosaur for the four ninety nine. 
I love pickles, but I swallowed basically that whole thing whole. So that was too much. Where are we at? Um, oh, travel plans. Let's talk about that. So I've been talking for, I don't know, a year, maybe. Um, your name sounds familiar. She's all over Instagram. Yeah. Uh, but moving to the U.S. And that's still the plan. Working on a U.S. visa, it just takes forever. You guys know how slow the government is. But as soon as the government's like, yeah, hey, yeah, you're good, you're legal, you can move here, I'm gone. Moving to Texas or Arizona, likely. We'll talk more about that. But I want to know, of all the reptile expos coming up, say, March onward, because I can't go this month or next month. I'm too busy. But March onward, what are the best reptile expos in the U.S. to go to? I want to know. I want to start going to like maybe one every six weeks or one every two months or something like that. So yeah, like travel's opened up. I can go to the U.S. now, which is great. So anyway, until I move there, I'll just go to Reptile Expo and meet people and see reptile shops and stuff like that. So let me know in the comments your favorite one, why it's good, uh, that sort of thing. Alex Wood, four ninety nine. Thoughts on lying sales salespeople? Uh, my friend just bought a. A, re, oh, a retic, probably, that you mean? That will grow to full size, thinking he was getting a dwarf retic. Oh, you keep saying retic. It's retic, reticulated python. Uh, okay, so lying salespeople. That's how I made a living for a long time, being a lying sales. I'm just joking. I did sales, and uh, everyone in sales kind of lies. But with animals, you should not do that. You shouldn't tell someone they're getting a dwarf retic and give them a giant retic. That's dirty, it's gross, it's bad for the, uh, not the environment, it's bad for the, the community. It's bad for reptiles. It looks bad. I totally disagree with it. Feel bad for your friend and shame on whoever did that. It could have been an accident though. It, it could have been a resale. I don't know the situation, but maybe it was a reseller. I don't know. I, I'm not trying to make excuses, but I don't know. Alyssa Soar. Like dinosaur. Thank you for helping inspire my obsession for reptiles. Used to be scared, but now I love both owning and talking about them. Me too. Uh, Lisa Dinosaur, I absolutely love reptiles as well. Thank you for the nine ninety nine. dollars I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I mean, like, reptiles are freaking awesome. Like, what is better than reptiles? Nothing. Ever. Reptiles are awesome. But thank you for watching the channel. Uh, Sherry LBW, first Repticon of the year for me tomorrow. Let's see if I can avoid adding another uh, grow-out crested gecko this time. Best of luck. Every time I go to an expo, I always say, oh, I'm not going to get whatever. And I always do. I always do. So, yeah. Best of luck. I wish you the best of luck. I appreciate it. Uh, Kit, another five bucks. Thank you very much. Chicago Tinley Expo, March 19th to 20th. Biggest in the country and super popular. I'm getting, okay, so I have a question. Because I wanted to go to the one in October, but travel to the U.S. was from Can – I live in Canada, if you guys didn't know. Travel to the U.S. in October was really limited. Um, and by limited, I mean, like, we couldn't go unless we flew in and had, like, two PCR. Like, I want to drive across. I'm not doing this flight thing to the U.S. anymore. I got interrogated like a prisoner on my way back from Minnesota. So, um, but now I can go. So, someone told me, though, <clears throat> excuse me, that the um, March one isn't even worth going to. I should just wait till October. Is that true? I don't know. Maybe I should ask. Maybe I should talk to Tinley and see if they'd even have me. Like, as part of their creator, I don't know how it works. I, I've never been to a U.S. Reptile Expo, so this year will be the first time. Um, and I do want to go to Texas in March to just check things out, but I don't think there's an expo in March. Anyway, uh, Dr. Go Crazy, first, fa okay, favorite venomous snake, uh, eyelash vipers. By far, I saw one in Costa Rica. I was, like, this close to it. They are beautiful. Eyelash vipers are amazing. I think. If ever I was in a position to own venomous snakes, and by that I mean have an outbuilding, have someone uh, to train me on how to do it, uh, and someone to service my snakes, likely to, like a helper, then I'd probably get eyelash vipers. But yeah, Texas herping vlog. That'd be cool. I want to do, I want to go herping in Texas and Arizona. Those are uh, two places in the U.S. I would love to. I heard New Mexico is awesome too. New Mexico seems like it's kind of slept on a bit, you know? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Brooke Modine, we'd surely welcome you all to Texas. If you come great weather year round for all the reptiles and others, you better like heats. Uh, thank you for the 499. So 
my main gripe with where I live, besides the fact that everything's shut down, the government's in your face, like this country is just, anyway, I'm not getting into it. But the, the weather sucks. It's minus, minus uh, 12 degrees right now. Yeah, so it's cold. And it's like this for like six months out of the year. And I'm just done doing this. Like I live half of my life running from a building to a car to a build, like You know what I mean? It's just not enjoyable. I like being outside. I like going for walks. I like bike riding. I like, I bought a one wheel in the fall, got to use it for like two weeks before I got too icy. So I like doing stuff where I can be outside. And uh, I live in a place where it's this cold, but in the summer, it's as hot as South Florida uh, for the whole summer. So I can deal with heat, but I cannot deal with cold. I'll take heat and humidity all day, every day over cold. Thank you very much. All right. Caught up on super chats. Perfect. What else are we, okay, anniversary giveaway room tour. So we're going to do the room tour in, I don't know, like uh, 20 minutes, something like that. But we'll give away a shirt in about 10 minutes. I'm in Minnesota. It's been minus 30 at times. Yeah, pff, take it. I don't want it. Get it. Nah, yeah, gross. Yeah. I live in Tucson, Arizona. It's been great here. The Tucson Reptile Expo is very fun. So that's the thing is that there's a Reptile Expo, I think, in Phoenix area in uh, April. And I heard there's like a lot of really cool reptile shops. So I would like to go to Phoenix in April. There's no direct flights to Phoenix from Toronto. Like get your like get it together. You know what I mean? Um, I live in Texas, and I'm here to tell you in Dallas we have an expo in March. Okay. So here's the thing: I'm not moving to Dallas. I, I, if I'm escaping Canada, I'm escaping cold weather, and I know what the weather is like. Like I can move four hours south to Houston or even San Antonio, and it doesn't get like the amount. I think you have uh, Dallas has an extra 20 days below freezing compared to Houston and San Antonio. So I'd be moving South Texas, but Dallas would be cool. Maybe like fly into Dallas, drive down, check and go. I don't know. We'll see. That'd be pretty cool though. Uh, Phoenix Reptile Expo, Mar uh, April 23rd. Yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. So that'd be a cool one. That'd be a cool one. Um, it's 58 degrees in Florida right now. Okay. It's minus 12 here. <laughs> yeah. A buddy of mine, he, uh, he went to Florida a month ago. He's not coming home from March. I wish, man, if I didn't have all of this keeping me here, I'd be gone. I'll tell you that I would be gone. Uh, reptile tales, 1399. Hi, Adam. I like your videos and I would like to know if you have the intention to make a video about the brumation of reptiles, leopard, fat tail, geckos, crested get not really, uh, because I, I don't think I've got really anything to add to that discussion. The only reptiles I have that brumate are, well, my tagu, she's down for brumation right now. And then Steve, my um, northern blue tongue skink, he's in brumation. Uh, yeah, so I don't really have anything to add. So I don't really see the point of making a video. Like maybe I could do a collab with somebody who is an expert, but yeah. Sought after serpents. I saw you in the pre-show. Glad I could finally make it to a live. Hey, sought after serpents. Thanks for the five bucks. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate you. Oh, and if you're a Patreon supporter, I posted it, but it wouldn't post for some reason. We're not going to do a Patreon only uh, Zoom hangout after this. It, no one was available, and I don't want to just hang out with like, yeah. So we'll do it another time, but just not tonight because no one was available. So anyway, I forgot to post. I feel like such an idiot. I'm from Dallas. Okay, Kit, $5. Thank you, Kit, for, like, financing the rest of uh, my day. Uh, $5. I'm from Dallas, and my cousin is from San Antonio. If you're going to move to Texas, definitely go to San Antonio of all cities over Houston. So I come from a city that's not small, but it's not a metro center. It's not Toronto, right? So I kind of like the idea of being really close to Houston, really close to Dallas, Austin. And San Antonio seems like it has a small town feel in a big city. It's really spread out. I think it's the seventh biggest city in the U.S. Um, the weather's always nice. The, it's ridiculously affordable to live there. So I'm leaning towards San Antonio. And that is kind of why I'm leaning away from Arizona. Although I like Arizona better uh, in my head anyway. because I've never been. But uh, mountains, you can go snowboarding two hours away from Phoenix. Uh, Mexico is right. Like, you know what I mean? But it's just not as affordable to live. So, But again, I have to go check both places out and find out. I have to get a work visa first. So, shop, shop, U.S. consulate. Let's go. Eileen Pfaff, 
4.99, 4.99 backwards ease. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, what's your opinion on Dr. Adrian Walton? Oh, I knew this was coming. By the way, love your channel. You really helped me. Um, you really helped me improve my reptile tear skills. Greetings from Germany. Uh, my mother taught me if you have nothing nice to say, say nothing at all. She also taught me if there is a vengeful guy who uh, entire personality is wanting more camera time, uh, who lives in your country and is known for sending people after you, don't speak badly about them. So, um, Team Nerd, if that's what you're asking. Team Nerd. Aurora Exotics. Stay crunchy, pickle king. Hey, thank you, Aurora. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the work you do on Discord, too. You're awesome. And I got to meet you. You're like a legit human being. So it's cool. I love meeting people. Oh, I don't have a Kleenex box in here. Oh, it's going to be rough. Um, to blow my nose. Uh, anyway, yeah, Aurora, it was really cool meeting you. And thank you for all you do. You're awesome. I think you've run everybody's Discord who has ever had a channel. Um, oh, look at this. Look at you. Lion Destroyer. Dis Destroyer? Destroyer. You got to teach me how to say it. You should bring Diamond in for $99.99. .99. I think I will. I think I will. I'll just continue talking. Imagine you just showed up and it's an empty chair talking. Hey, Diamond, what's up, buddy? Come here. Come here. Oh, Pop's going to weasel. Come here. All right. You got a full belly, don't you? All right. So if the, you didn't listen to the CDC... Uh, I recommend that you do not lick your bearded dragon. You are very warm. He was under his basking light. So anyway, you want to just chill up here? Maybe we'll we'll uh, introduce you to Stevie later. Stevie, the uh, the treaty. So anyway, I would recommend always to wash your hands if you touch your bearded dragon. So you know, it wasn't that kind of weird that all of a sudden everyone's getting sick. Uh, Mr. Beast pops up and donates ten thousand dollars. I would love that. That'd be awesome. I would get on a plane and go to Florida for the rest of the year. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, all of a sudden in the U.S., a bunch of people from all different parts all of a sudden get salmonella from bearded dragons. Like, what? Like, I get it when it's lettuce, right? Like, people get a coli or whatever from lettuce. It comes from one place and goes to the country. Like, was there, like, a bearded dragon farm that just sent out a bunch of bearded dragons and they cracked raw eggs on them first before they sent them out? Which isn't even a thing either. I used to drink raw eggs every morning. I never got sick once. So, anyway. Yes, I am Rocky. Hailstorm Cosplay. Why did I say it like that? From Cosplay, like I'm from Michigan. Hailstorm Cosplay, five Canadian dollars. Thank you very much. Hey, Adam, love your channel. You got a tricolor hog nose named Katsuki. That sounds like it's from anime. After the character in the, her in the hero Academia. Is that an anime? Uh, he is doing awesome. Tricolor hog nose are awesome. I would love to have one one day. Uh, but I'm just trying to get not to get any more animals because unless something goes terribly wrong, I am packing my bags and I'm out of here, hopefully before the end of the year. So we'll see. I'm just speaking it into existence. If I say it enough, it'll happen. It'll happen. Oh, I got had a good question at the bottom here where, about storing eggs. Where is it? In Canada, do you store eggs in the fridge? Yes. Okay, so who doesn't do okay, – someone explain this to me once because I think it's Europe or is it – I don't know, somewhere you guys don't store eggs in, ow, his claws are so sharp, in the fridge, which to me is super weird. Don't, don't they not go, are we doing it wrong? I don't know. Anyway, uh, hog nose eggs incubate at, it's so weird when people ask that at a live stream instead of into Google. 84-ish <laughs> um, degrees, by the way, but Google it first because I like, there's a range, temperature range. Give okay, everybody. Uh, grumpy Gamer. Thanks for the cold weather video. Now own dream Mandarin rat snakes. Hey, that's awesome. Hey, Grumpy Gamer. Thanks for the 20 bucks. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm glad that you got some use of that video. I think Mandarin rat snakes are dope. I think they're amazing. Um, oh, it depends on how the eggs are processed. Okay, cool, cool. Thanks, Sage. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Eat them pickles. Not bad. Not bad. If you never eat pickle juice, highly recommend it. Anyway, Lion Destroyer. I'm just going to call you Lion Destroyer because I can't say your name. Thank you for the 99 bucks, 100 bucks. Like that is so ridiculous. I It always blows me away when people do stuff like that because 100 bucks is like a lot of money. So I may, I don't know, to me it is anyway. So like that is great. And obviously 10% of the, every, like that, whatever I take from this 
goes to US ARC and the rest goes to animals and stuff like that. And actually what I've been doing, I set up a separate account, like a separate bank account. Um, for So all the money I make off of these streams is going to the bank account. And supposing I move to Texas, which has a terrible power grid system, I'm going to buy a industrial generator, like a $5,000 generator. So that if something like what happened last year happens when I'm like, I don't have to worry about it. So you guys are basically just saving animals lives by sending money. You're saving their lives. Like good. Chris, wait, what? You're man. You need you need more rocks in your enclosure. You can sit on my leg. We'll bring you up as uh, time allows. Uh, so yeah, travel. Plan. Did anyone answer the question? So Tinley, you guys said. Um, remember when you could watch a movie with a nickel? Yeah, I got two cents. Um, I need to blow my nose for sure. Okay, we're gonna put Diamond back for a second. I'm gonna continue talking. Go to Rep, uh, Rexpo. It's in Rochester, New York. Okay, so that's pretty close. April 2nd, and we'll be getting my first snake. So I'm hoping in April to go to Phoenix, right? Uh, but we'll see. I, that's not like a for sure plan yet. Where is, there's gotta be a thing here. Uh, so that's not a for sure thing yet, but to go to Rochester, I think that's only like three or four hours away. I'm not exactly the best at geography, but I'm pretty sure that's where it's at. So anyway, hold on. <laughs> I like how I try to get out of the frame, and I probably wasn't. So, anyway, that's that. Um, what should I name my tiger salamander? I live in New York, hoping to go to Rexpo. Your tiger salamander should be named uh, Jimothy. That should be its name. What part of Texas are you planning to move to? I'm planning to move to either San Antonio or Houston. Um, the only thing about... I don't know. And if I, and when I say Houston, I mean like outskirts, like Sugarland, Woodlands, somewhere like that. Uh, not actually in the city. So I got pickle breath like you wouldn't believe. So, all right. Blood pythons, yay or nay? Not for me, man. I don't want a blood python. Not my thing. If you want to know why, I explained in the uh, Unfriendliest Reptiles video from last week. <coughs> uh, oh, Kit. $20. My Mexican black king snake escaped before I went to grad congratulations that you graduated he's been gone for seven weeks now in your experience how long could you survive without an ideal habitat i live in chicago for i'm worried about okay so funny story oh, did i miss one no uh funny story i lost nikki my uh western hognose my male um albino or het albino anaconda western hognose right the father of the babies from the last clutch for six months, I bet you it was about six months in the winter. And when we got him, we found him just on the stairs. He was two grams heavier than when we lost him. I don't know what was in my basement, but he was bigger, not smaller. So anyway, whacked, whacked Mackie. Towards the end of last year, I started researching a new pet and found your channel. And we've helped me and you've helped me a great deal in research and learning. Well, hey, whacked Mackie, thank you for sending $5 to let me know. And I will continue making videos, and I hope you continue to enjoy them. I just realized how disgusting that enclosure is, wherever, I don't know. Well, that's the one that the day geckos are out of now. So instead of cleaning it, I'm like, you know what we should do? We should do the bigger enclosure. So they got an upgrade today. I'm very excited to show you guys. It's going to be awesome. Uh, everyone is using you as Google. I know. Oh, so someone asked. Someone got mad at me because I didn't reply to their Instagram uh, DM in, what was it, like an hour. And I got mad and I'm a bad guy and how dare you not talk to your fans and whatever ridiculous thing this guy said. So here's the deal. On Instagram, I get up to 50 DMs a day. So I can't answer all of them, first of all. Second of all, if your, your DM says, hey, I have a question, you already asked your question. I delete it immediately. Uh, if it's a long diatrobic five things, gone immediately. So if you, like, I like answering people's DMs, but like, please don't DM me with, uh, hey, what's the morph of this? Like, Google it, dude. Or what's the temperature for this? Like, uh, Google it, man. Like, I'm sorry. I, I, I just, I've got, you know. But, hey, uh, I really, you said this thing in your last video and I want you to clarify. I will answer those questions all day long. All day long, I'll answer those questions. Oh, uh, here's a, the salt of the earth type of dude right here. 
Uh, Tarantula Collective, $5. Congrats and happy anniversary, dude. Thank you very much, my friend. Have you hit 100K yet? You got to be close. You're at like 98 last time I saw. If you guys love um, invertebrate, <coughs> tarantulas and things like that, you have to uh, hit up Tarantula Collective. Amazing channel. Uh, I've been on his podcast, The Pet Collective. We've done a collaboration together. Amazing dude. So thanks, Richard. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Shane O'Reilly, five backward Z's. Hey, uh, Spock or whatever this is. Just signed up to Patreon. Really enjoy the videos. Do you have some, uh, do you have as much fun making them as it seems? Uh, well, thank you very much, Shane. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, sometimes. Like, uh, I love making the Costa Rica video. I like making videos like that. Uh, they just take forever. Some videos, like, I mean, it kind of feels like a job, right? Like the video that I'm making right now about uh, making this enclosure. Because here's the thing, right? If you make an enclosure, like you do an enclosure build and you plant an enclosure and things like that, uh, it's fun to do by yourself, right? Throw on a podcast, whatever, and just do it. But if you have to do it with the camera every two seconds, stop to wash your hands, take B-roll, it's just less fun. But with that said, to make it and know that people will enjoy them, that is awesome to me. That is freaking amazing. So, because like I said, I love watching, you know, uh, jo- uh, I almost call him Joe, Troy Goldberg, um, Tanner, Serpent Design. Like, I love watching those enclosure builds and just the way that they they are so much better at them than I am. So I aspire to get to that level one day. I don't even know how we got on this conversation. Uh, everyone's just talking about how awesome Tarantula Collective is. Good. He's awesome. Um, some Latin name I can't read. Good. Yeah, filming enclosure builds is so hard. And it's like time consuming and it's tedious. And if I had a camera crew, I would build so many enclosures. I like building enclosures. I just don't like filming them. I'm an arachnophobe too, dainty dinosaur. It is what it is. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so maybe we'll just give away another shirt. Okay, so this time, hashtag pickles, plural. Hashtag pickles, just bombs away, and in two minutes, I will, I love coffee, Chris. Uh, I will just pick, I'll just pick, hashtag pickles, and I'll just pick. So, just a random one in like two minutes. Um, so we still have to show the reptile room. Travel plans. So I do have a collab that's set up tentatively with a tentative date with a much larger creator. I'm really excited about that. Uh, so hopefully we can do that by the end of January or February. We'll see. So, um, but yeah, I would like to do more of those. I was trying to do like, hopefully I was trying to do like a Florida thing where I could go down to Florida, do a bunch of collabs, but I couldn't really get responses from a lot of people. I guess my channel isn't big enough yet. What, what, whatever. It is what it is. So. Maybe next year. I was just trying to escape the winter and I uh, heard Florida's a cool place to go to for that. So with that said, oh yeah, here, right there. Um, okay, you can stop with the hashtag pickles. I'm just gonna pick a random one. Just gonna pick a random one. Okay, ready? Eeny meeny miny mo. Sebastian Rolden. Sebastian Rolden, so email me at uh Wickens of the Reptiles at gmail.com. And I will send you your shirt. Uh, do I like the Real Housewives? No. I have very limited time to watch TV. <laughs> so I am selective. And Real Housewives is something I would not choose to watch. I did start watching a show called uh, Trial 4. Or Fourth Trial. Trial 4. About a dude who got wrongfully convicted. I love these like wrong, wrongfully convicted shows like true crime stuff. Anyway, it's very good. It's on Netflix. <laughs> Uh, Brit's lovely reptilians. Hello there. I live in North Dakota, fur, and work at a local pet shop. I always refer to people to to your channel when interested in reptiles and amphibians. Your channel is amazing. Thank you for the content. Well, Brit's lovely reptilians. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'll tell you something funny. I went into a pet store one time, and it was uh, not a reptile shop, but they had a pretty big fish section and reptile section. And I, so I'm wearing my Wiccans, not this one, the green one with the Ekans on it. And uh, she kept looking at me kind of funny. We all wear masks here, right? Like we still have a mask mandate. So we have to wear a mask inside of a building. So you can only see half my face. You only see my eyes. I'm wearing a hat. And she's like looking at my shirt, looking at me. And she's like, I love that guy's channel. And I'm just like, cool, me too. And I just walked out. 
I don't know. To me, it was so funny. It was just so funny to me. Uh, Lion Destroyer looked like we had fun uh, at Snake Discovery building the enclosure. Yeah, I did. Snake Discovery was awesome. Like, that place is freaking amazing. Like, I can't say enough good things about Emily and Ed. So I'll see there's people. I got to meet people like uh, Clint, Costco, so many. I'm not going to start naming them because I'm going to forget one person. Uh, but s- such amazing people. Amazing. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Just very lucky to be part of that. So I would love to do that again this year. I would love to do that again this year. I hope that they do it again. And if so, I would. Uh, I hope I get invited. So I guess I guess we'll find out. There should be real house size with snakes. Uh, yeah. Um, real housewives is like one step above dumb, the dumbness of The Bachelor, right? Like the show where a dude dates a bunch of women and women don't like when dudes date a bunch of women. Like, did they watch it? I never understood that one. Um, you're the best on YouTube. My wife came around to getting snakes and now wants to breed them because of your channel. Congrats on three years. Well, hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Your wife sounds super duper cool. That sounds super duper awesome. Is it okay to keep... Oh, I got to start drinking some pickle juice here. Imagine you've never seen this channel. It just shows up and you tune in and there's some idiot drinking pickle juice. Like, what did I just stumble upon? Uh, Real Housewives is appealing because it's dumb. My The only reason I know anything about Real Housewives is because I listen to the Monday Morning Podcast and Bill and his wife... Bill Burr and his wife watch The Real Housewives because she watches it and he likes how dumb it is. So maybe I would enjoy it, but also I don't have time. Either I watch Real Housewives and we talk about it on live streams or you get two videos a week. You pick. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, it just, it takes a lot lot of time to do stuff like this. No complaints. I love doing it. Do you have your US visa? No, if I did, I wouldn't be in a place where it's minus 12, okay? I'm still waiting. It takes for freaking ever. I get this question all the time. Hey, uh, you were talking about it, you know, six months ago, like the, it takes so long and so much money. It is so expensive, by the way, but it is worth it because this country is, yeah. uh, anyway, thank you for the shirt. My dad is going to email you. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Of course. It doesn't matter to me. Um, just like whoever wins, like just send a screenshot that it's you. I don't think I've ever seen anyone fake it but yeah i don't want to yeah favorite female rapper honestly i i could i don't know i couldn't even name one to be honest like is that bad who should i listen i don't know let me give it a try who's yours who's your favorite oh shane o'reilly two backwards e's i know they're called pounds but backwards e's is funny opinion on animal thefts in Florida. Sickening. It is. I am Canadian, by the way. Um, it's this guy. Okay, so today, I got it. I had to go to the reptile store, right, to buy a, a misting system for the new enclosure that I built. I, I opened the door to my truck, and I see my truck is completely trashed. So, someone went through my truck. Everything is everywhere. They, I have an emergency bag with, like, um, like gloves and, uh, like, the reflective stuff, and uh, like a, a like a one of those thermal blankets, and like they ripped that apart. They ripped my center console apart. My glove boxes. It. I can't even describe how terrible that feels. It feels so violating. I can't imagine if it was your animals that were stolen. That I can't think of many things that would be possibly be worse than that. So, yeah, I I feel terrible um, for uh, Tom and Kenan and those guys. Like. Yeah, my heart goes out to them. It's it's sad and it's disgusting. And if you do something like that, if you take someone's animals, you're human garbage. There there is nothing on this earth like you. There is uh, terrible people. There is uh, scum. There is dog feces, and then there is you. Several levels below that. So if you steal animals from people, you are the scum of the earth. You are disgusting. If you break into people's trucks and ruin, like you're also scum. But stealing animals is worse. Um, yeah, so I walked in the reptile uh, shop, and they these people hook me up. They are so nice to me, and I am just in such a foul mood. I'm just so pissed off when I walk in there for no reason. So anyway, I post on Facebook. They probably know why. Uh, can you send uh, my son Petra? 
Petro, uh, Pietro, uh, happy, yeah, happy 10th birthday, Pietro. Thanks for watching the channel. I appreciate it. Do you like Schitt's Creek? I've actually never seen it. Um, I know that it's a bunch of Canadians, so like that, um, act in it and write it and produce it, but I have never seen it. So again, I, man, I should write down my hours one week <laughs> and put it up. It's ridiculous. Again, not complaining. I would much rather be doing what I do than sitting at a desk working for somebody else. This is freaking awesome. So, uh, can you make a new DIY incubator video? No, because it's going to be the exact same. I have not changed one bit. They're the exact same. Um, it'd be the same quality. It'd be the same build. It'd be the same materials. And I don't have a need for a third incubator. So, um, yeah. Would you consider getting a dry mark on? Yeah, I think uh, Kribos and stuff are amazing. Hey, no problem. Happy birthday, buddy. Can you tell us a little about your family? Yeah, so when I was a baby, I don't actually know my parents. When I was a baby, um, someone found me in a, a basket. They sent it down a creek, and then I was raised by wolves. So um, I have a weird family, but that's that's how I was brought up. What kind of puppy did you get? I got a golden retriever. Her name is Stevie the Treevy. Yep, it's as dumb as it sounds. People always say, oh, you would you name it after Stevie Nicks? That's dumb. Like, nope, dumber than that. Stevie the Treevy. Yeah, stealing animals is a form of kidnapping. It's disgusting. People are gross. She is adorable. Next tattoo. I'm actually getting tattooed on Wednesday. Uh, so I got like this. Uh, it's an eagle. Anyway, so it's like a big. So most of my chest, like the top part of my chest, is a big harpy eagle. It's like swooping down. I'll post a picture of it maybe. And then so I'm getting a, a squirrel monkey right below it. It's going to be really cool. And then I need something to fill up the space and a red fox. Anyway, so, I, so my New Year's resolutions are so dumb. Uh, eat better, get into better shape, um, continue making videos, make more shorts, and uh, just get uh, double the coverage and tattoos that I already have. So, yeah. Uh, okay. D Max. Canadian, $27.99. Such a random number, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, and you don't even want to say anything. You just want to send me money. Thanks. I appreciate it. You are awesome. You're the best. Um, bro, I thought you were actually in bed as a kid for a second. <laughs> no, my parents live like 15 minutes away. My mom was here yesterday, actually. I had this jacket from this employer that uh, I don't work at anymore. It has nothing nice to say about. And I love this jacket. It's so nice. It's probably like a $500. No, that's not like not that much. Maybe like a $200 jacket. So I didn't want to get rid of it, but it has like the name of the company on it. Which, and I don't want to be a billboard for this terrible company. So I, I, I bought patches that say Wiccans with the Reptiles. and got my mom to sew it on there. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. What music do you listen to? I listen to all types of music. Um, but 2000s hardcore, man, the 2000s will never die for me. Will never die. Dead in the Vine, uh, uh, Straight Reads the Line, Holly Springs Disaster, The Gorgeous. Like I liked, uh, our local music scene was so good in Southern Ontario in the 2000s. Like I will put it against any music scene, any point in time, anywhere in the world. It was amazing. Um, but then the promoter moved to Toronto and our music scene sucks now. So there's that. Hi, fellow Canadian. What's up? How you doing? Um, so anyway, travel plans we already did because I'm actually just kind of asking you where to go. But the one place that I am going, I can't say where, but I will say it's within it's, it's within a six-hour drive of where I am. So if that tells you. But early 2000s, awesome. Brittany and Christina were, were queens. Yeah. I think everybody had a poster of Britney Spears with the uh, Burmese python when I was a kid. Yeah, Britney Spears. And then like some of us went to like Christina Aguilera, Paris Hilton, and some of us went to Kat Von D. So it was like a, everyone split from Britney. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. Plans for any collabs? Yes. But the one right now that I have planned is a secret. I've got some invites for other ones, but I, mean, I live in the middle of nowhere. So I'm trying to like plan it so that wherever I go and do a collab, I can do a few, like there's, there's some that if I go like straight south, like there's one, two, three that I really like to do, 
but I, I haven't even reached out. I just, I need to do better at planning. Um, yeah, six hours in it, somewhere in the U.S. Uh, my favorite music, never give, give you up or never lets you. <laughs> That's good. I never got rickrolled via uh, words before. So that was pretty funny. Do you have other hobbies besides reptiles? Um, yes. Do I? Do I have? I don't know. I just work. Like, that's all I do. And I, I like to walk. Um, when the gyms are open here, I go to the gym. But uh, that's not ever because this place is a prison. Um, yeah. One wheeling? Oh, if you don't know what one wheels are, bro. Yes, Sage. Thank you. One wheels. I freak it. Okay, so I bought a one wheel. They're kind of expensive for what they are. But every time it's like even remotely nice yesterday was minus two still went didn't care just had so much fun so anyway i freaking love one wheeling freaking love it love it who is your tattoo artist um so, uh so the one that i'm going to and i like that did my chest and is doing the rest of my chest his name is um caesar franco um persona inc in mississauga ontario so so the thing is with Ontario, so with Ontario, we've been closed down, like closed down. <clears throat> um, tattoo artists are booked into like 2023. Anyone worth their salt is booked into like 2023. So right, uh, this Caesar guy, he's only been tattooing for four years, but I'm telling his color or his black and white realism, his black and gray realism is like uh, so amazing. So. Anyway, he's doing color realism on me, but uh, so I'm just trying to get in with this guy as much as I can because I know he's going to start booking up when people find out how good he is. But he's only been around for four years, which is why he's not like crazy booked up. Um, oh, look at this lady, Linda Wickens. What's up? Congratulations on three years. Thanks, mom. And uh, thanks for sewing my jacket yesterday. It was really nice to you. Big Tank Hank. That's a sick name. Sound blue for a second. Is it back? Cool. Do you have bug tats and do you have reptiles try to eat them? Yeah, I have a Hercules beetle right here. But no, reptiles don't try to eat them. Do I have anything else? That's it. That's it. I should have got it. The size proportion wasn't very good. Whatever. Um, Canada just censored you. <laughs> Probably. Uh, would you get a tattoo from Tyler Nolan? So yeah, like I'll, I'll t say it out loud. I'm watching. I'm not legging. Am I? I don't know. Um, Lighting bad. Anyway, what was the question? Would you ever get a tattoo from Tyler Nolan? So, yes, I definitely would. Um, I reached out to him to do a collab. I never got a message back. So that would be something really cool to do, like go see his collection, get a tattoo, like the same video. Uh, but whatever. He's busy. He's a much bigger channel. So I'm not talking smack. Just that's... Uh, Daniel, that's the answer to your question. Sound is ahead of the video for real. Like, I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> um, okay, so the views are dropping like crazy too. So I did promise you that I would show you the, okay, let's see how bad it is. I have it. Uh, where's the thing? How do I? I don't even know. Is it that bad? Oh, it's working for me. Like, I have no lag at all. I'm watching it myself. Oh, it's fine now? Okay, great. Perfect. I like how it, it, it like, messes up and then half the viewership drops and then it gets better. Oh, whatever. It is what it is. Now it's just like a cozier family. It's good. Nerd is live. Really? Mm, that makes sense. It is what it is. I uh, I go out of my way. I go out of my way to make sure that I, I don't compete with other streams, like go out of my way to, uh, but, Oh, Lilith just died. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a pretty big thing. So I, that's so bad. Do you like Indian pythons? Ah, oh, they're cool. I don't really know much about them besides their angrier retics or angrier berms kind of, uh, should I name my tiger Simon or Dill? No, you should name it Jimothy. I said that nerd made me so upset in their last video. Which one? 
Uh, it's better. Okay, good. When will the salamander outbreaks of a bearded dragons go? This, that's what, this whole thing is stupid. There's no salmonella outbreak for bearded dragons. It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make sense. So you're saying that I have a five-year-old bearded dragon. Joe Schmo in Indiana has a 10-year-old bearded dragon. Buddy in Florida has one. It, like, and they all, all of a sudden, it doesn't make it, it's, it's baloney. It is 100% baloney. Do not believe, it is totally baloney. So it doesn't even make sense. Like a little, like it makes zero sense. It makes zero sense. So it's not a, a real thing. Don't worry about it. Can you own retics in Canada? There's no Canada wide bans on anything. Um, so it just depends on your city, your uh, province, some provinces outlawed them. But am I drinking warm pop? Actually, yes. Yeah. So I don't, uh, I had Wendy's today. Because I don't care and I didn't have time to do anything else. So I'm just pouring it into a glass so I don't look disgusting. And Wendy's isn't sponsoring me to be in the video. So, yeah, I am. Um, uh, they're just trying to blame that random sickness that nobody knows what it is on reptiles. I don't know anything about that. Uh, hey, paint to life. Congratulations on three years, Mr. Clean. Looking forward to talking soon. Hey, uh, thanks. If you guys like watching dragons and people paint dragons, Paint the Life is a wicked channel. So thanks, uh, GMA Tank. Young Smoke Pool. Bro, I'll never get over how awesome that name is. I'll never get awesome. Uh, get over how awesome it is. Uh, hope you drenched a pickle in hot sauce and ate it live, buddy. We love you. Uh, internet finally came back. Sorry I am late. True say. Big congrats, man. Hey, thanks, uh, Young Smoke Pool. Appreciate it. I'm always like, if I know someone's real name, should I say it out loud? I don't know. But, uh, oh. But Young Smoke Pool did help me load up this uh, this enclosure that I spent all day making. This thing is heavy. It is heavy. And Young Smoke Pool helped me load it into my truck after Reptile Expo. So thank you very much, man. And brings me hot sauce. This guy's freaking awesome. So much love, buddy. Warm pop and pickle juice. The hydration of champions. Yes. Yeah. I just spilled it all over my face. Um. Adam, next life, if you get more than $1,500 to donate, you should shave half your mustache. I would totally do that, but I never make anything close to that at all. So how about this? Where are we at right now? If I make $1,000 on this one, I'll shave my whole mustache. How about that? There you go. <clears throat> if I make $1,000 on this one, I'll shave my whole mustache. Hi, I also live in Southern Ontario. What city do you live in? Uh, Dion works at my local pet shop. Um, I don't like to say exactly where I live, but I live in, uh, between Niagara Falls and Toronto. How about that? Uh, I just, I joined just to immediately see a man chug warm. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Imagine you just show up and you just see some dummy doing pickle juice, like drinking pickle juice like that. Like this guy's an animal. Um, anyway, that was the dumbest comment I've ever. If you shave your mustache, you're gonna look like in a twelve year old Amish. <laughs> if I shave my beard, I look like I'm twelve. I look like a bald twelve year old. I look like Caillou if I shave my beard. It's ridiculous. It's so bad. Um, why Amish? Because Amish people don't have they have beards but not mustaches. That's why. Um. I have some hot sauce questions. I'll tell you what, Sage. Um, Young Smoke Pulse hot sauce. The one that he made me the first time, Northern uh, Northern Sweetheart, I think it's called. The best hot sauce I've ever had. By far, no joke, the best. The best. Favorite Pokemon. Okay, so I don't know. This is a question. So this is interesting. So there's a tattoo artist that's opening her books on Monday. So... I'm trying to put together some ideas like to get my other sleeve done, right? And as part of that, I wanted Pokemon, right? Like Zelda, uh, Nintendo 64 controller, a ray gun, for, like all that sort of thing, right? Volpex is good, yeah. Like, so I can just like kind of make, that's what I want the, you know, the sleeve to be, right? Just all like the stupid stuff that I like. And I'm thinking like to represent Pokemon, what is my favorite Pokemon? But I don't, I think Volpex actually might be it because my, it's a red fox. Red fox is my favorite animal. My dog looks like a red fox. I don't know. That's actually a good answer. I don't know how you knew that. Uh, Christine Phelps for the stash. Great channel, dude. Love to see you succeed. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, yeah. See, Rick knows. 
Richard, amazing hot sauce, 10 out of 10. Yeah, Rick came over. We had some hot wings, and uh, we used that uh, hot sauce. And it was freaking good. It was really good, man. That was really good. Um, what's your favorite thing to carve styrofoam with? Okay, so I got a tip from Dion, who I think got it from Mike Petula, who I think got it from Troy Goldberg. I don't actually know. I got it from Dion. Or actually, no, he thought of this himself. He told, he told me. So it's like a rotary tool. So it's like one of those tools that just like a, uh, it's like a spinny thing and you have like a bunch of different attachments and you can uh, like a, a wire brush or whatever, or you can just put a wire brush on a drill. And I like to use those. Uh, so Dion actually has videos showing how to do it. I don't, but he does. So uh, Reptiliatus, and who, um, yeah, is just a gem of a human. Man, Cubone's an awesome animal too. A Dremel. Yeah, that's, yeah. So we call them rotary tools for whatever reason, but a Dremel. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Do you know how to solve a, a Bubik's cube? Is that like a Rubik's cube? Yeah, Re Reptile Room Tour is coming in a second. We got to give away another shirt first. I don't think so. I'm a big friend of Adam's, and you can totally call me Adrian. Okay, yeah, so Adrian. This guy's awesome. Bubik's. <laughs> ah, shirt. Yeah, so. It's interesting. I give away shirts like every live now, and most people – never claim them so oh so someone won a shirt in october i think and um they never claimed it and then they emailed me and i can't email them so they emailed me like hey man where's my shirt and i can't email them back but they didn't give me a shipping address so i can't i don't like i hate that i hate seeing it um yeah too late to take it back now love your technical jerk What's your favorite thing about diamond? Uh, oh, I put diamond back. I'm like, where does diamond go? Um, I don't know. Diamond's just cool, man. I like uh, I like lizards. I like lizards. So uh, I didn't realize that I clicked. Oh, live. I didn't realize when I clicked. Yeah. So here's what we do on live. We drink warm pop. So glad you called it pop and not cola because that's what it's called. And we drink lukewarm pickle juice. Mm. Um, my nephew wears his shirt all the time. Hey, spicy pizza. I remember when you won. Yeah. My shirt hashtag should be destroy all Kelsey's. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Soda. So it, it's not, it wouldn't be soda because it's brown. It'd be cola, right? But it's not because it's pop. So yeah, my dad loves. Okay. How long have we been doing this? Oh, we got to do a reptile room tour. Here, let me pour some more. Uh, I got a different type of warm pot down here. So I had uh, my regular warm pot and my, my Pepsi warm, and I'm just trying to mix them to get rid of this because I don't like wasting things that I paid for, Michelle paid for. All right. So uh, how about we down this in some pickle juice, and then we go do a little bit of a reptile. So what I'm going to do for the reptile room tour, soft drink is neutral. That's true. I don't know why they call it that. Shouldn't it be like a hard drink? Because, like, the bubbles. Oh, that's stupid. Um, so what shirts are you giving? So here's the deal with the, with the shirts. If you, if you win a shirt, you can pick whatever one on the store. So uh, T-shirts. I'm giving away T-shirts. Don't go pick the most expensive hoodie because it's the most expensive thing. Like, T-shirts. It's so silly, too, because I live in Canada, the amount of money it costs to send a shirt is like, I can't wait to move to the U.S., man. Like, I, I can't even put into words how much I cannot wait. I cannot. It's all just fizzy drink to me. Hard drinks are alcohol, though. Yeah, I guess that's true. That's a good point. Yeah, BRB just popping over to nerd. Donnie, I thought we were friends, man. How do I convince my wife to let me get a lizard? Um... Be like, um, be like, hey, I'm getting a lizard, and then get one. <laughs> That's what I recommend. Uh, what part of the U.S.? Texas or Arizona? Uh, why the U.S.? I thought Canada was better. You thought wrong. This country is a prison, and it's minus 12 outside. So there's that. Um, if you ever are wondering, like, why does this guy hate Canada so bad? Just go look at our tax rates, um, how this country is locked down, the climate. Anyway. Hey, I'm plotting my leave for the U.S. Yeah, we all are. We all are. That's the thing, too, is like 
everybody I know who who has the option to to leave has left. Like nobody lives here who has the option to leave. At like nobody, because why would you live here? It doesn't make any sense. Um, how are you surviving in Nazi Canada? Hey, I didn't say it. You said it, but yeah, I'm moving to Canada tomorrow. Are you from where? That's cool. I mean, there are good things about this country. I don't mean to like, anyway. Um, you got the Canadian falls, but yeah, our Canadian falls are way better than the American falls. It's not even close. Niagara falls is what they're talking about. Um, Anyway, Young Smoke Pool, $5. I'm totally not Adam's hot sauce dealer. Velo uh, on Discord for those. Velo, Velo Ross on Discord for those asking about hot sauce tips. Glad you love it, Adam. Re- Reaper Sweetheart, that's what it was. Yeah, that was the best hot sauce I've ever had. Uh, every time I have it, I'm like, this guy could make a million dollars selling this sauce. It's so good. So good. Um, Faux yo know how to make my dad less scared of harmless ball python. I live in Quebec. And it's minus 20 here. Yeah, dog, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Why? Uh, you're going in my cringe compilation that can answer uh, what that means. Sorry, I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. I don't know what that means either. Huh. There's non sequiturs? Yeah, Nerd is jealous of my Discord. Is that why they're streaming at the same time as me taking the audience away? Donnie, I thought we were friends, buddy. LA, it was 75 today. Yeah, the thing with LA is it's in California. Or are you talking about Louisiana? Are you talking about Los Angeles or Louisiana? Because Louisiana seems interesting. Los Angeles seems like warmer Canada. So, no, not interesting. Uh, it's 28 degrees here. Oh, Fahrenheit in Iowa. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Arizona has six of the 12 major biomes. Yeah, so that's the thing with Arizona. So, um, no, nerd is not Canadian. They're from, uh, North, North, um, uh, New England. Uh, yeah. So the thing with Phoenix, like that area is it's not as affordable. Like if you move to San Antonio, you can buy. So for example, I, I uh, wrote down the numbers. So the average home price in my city where I live this in 2021 was $727,000. So I'm talking about if you want a regular home, not a mansion, nothing fancy, something that you drive by and be like, I bet you Joe Schmo and his wife who uh, live there with their three kids. Like that's $727,000 for the same house in San Antonio. It is $225,000. It is a third of the price. So yes, like why anyone would pay that much money to live here is beyond me. Can someone tell nerd and ask me like, yo, we know that your discord sucks. It has no one there, but why are you streaming at the same time? Tell Don, Donnie I said that. Be like, Donnie, Adam said your Discord is a joke, and why are you streaming at the same time? And then I'll message Donnie after, and we'll laugh about it. Keep feathering it, brother. The stream makes a perfect background noise for playing Minecraft. Hey, man, I don't care if you're not watching as long as you're listening, because I've got so many important things to say, like screaming and whining about Ken. <laughs> uh, hey, Rick Crony. $55. Just want to make you say Las Vegas Raiders. <laughs> uh, RIP John Madden, right? Man, I'll tell you what. If there is anything I know more about than, well, not say I know a lot about reptiles. If there is one subject that I feel confident about my knowledge and passion for besides reptiles, it is NFL football. And I'll tell you what, Las Vegas Raiders have an exciting team. They are going to get smoked in the first round. So. Make no question about that. Um, and also, the tuck rule was garbage if you're a Raiders fan in 2001. That was total garbage, but Super Bowl ring. So it is what it is. Go New England, go. Um, but yeah, anyway, so uh, Las Vegas Raiders are an interesting team. Interesting team. That John Gruden guy, though, I'll tell you. <laughs> anyway, Rick, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I could talk football all day. If I started a podcast about something that wasn't reptiles, it'd be about NFL football. I love NFL football. It's like, anyway. Um, oh, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. What's up, buddy? Uh, 50 Canadian dollars. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. That's really cool. You just to show up and stuff like that. You should uh, come see me, dude, or I'll come see you. Nerd Discord was boring. 100% recommend WWR Discord. That's what's up. Go tell Donnie that on his stream right now. <clears throat> go, Pat. Go. So here's what's going to happen. I did my bracket. 
right? Um, the Packers and uh, the Buccaneers are going to meet in the NFC Championship game. But Aaron Rodgers is allergic to winning the NFC Championship game, so they're going to choke in the cold weather. Tom Brady is good in the cold weather, and they're going to get blown out 21-3. to 3. No, 27-3. to 3. That's the score of the NFC Championship game uh, between Green Bay and Tampa Bay. That's what's going to happen. Battle of the Bays in the cold, and Tom, uh, 46 playoff games, Brady, is going to decimate uh, Aaron Rodgers and his fake vaccine passport. Uh, who is Wiccan? I don't know. I'm Adam Wiccans, but uh, yeah, Tom Brady is the goat. There's no question about it. Like, any, I don't even have this conversation anymore. If anyone says, "Oh, well, Joe Montana," like, yeah, 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 okay, Tom Brady has had two Joe Montana careers. So anyone who argues that Tom Brady is the greatest of all time doesn't know a thing about football. Um, your Discord is my favorite. Hey, thank you very much. A couple of Texas tips. Anything below 70 is cold. Hey, I like that. Forget the metric system exists. I'm cool with that. Whataburger is life. Yep, H-E-B too, right? H-E-B, best grocery store ever. I've been doing my research. And never question Bucky's. Okay, I've been watching so many videos about moving to San Antonio and whatever else. So, yeah, that's what's up. Um, it's very sad over at Nerd. Yeah, I heard Lilith died, right? Uh, oh. Oh, so she's not actually dead? So you're telling me Donnie is competing with my stream and he was using clickbait about a dead snake who's not actually dead? Donnie. Come on. Uh, Tom Bardell said an all-star uh, offensive lineup. You saw their offensive line for half of Tom Brady's playing career, right? <laughs> what a, no. um, One of the best coaches in the business. That's true. Bill Belichick is the best of all time. And uh, to, for Bill Belichick to turn around a team that missed the playoffs last year with a rookie quarterback and go, what was the record? 10 and, were they 11 and 6 or 10 and 7? Regardless, make the playoffs is unbelievable. Bill Belichick is the coach of the year. He is second place, third place, and fourth place coach of the year. The best coach of all time. No question. Speaking of New England, Casey Silva, 100 bucks. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Congrats on three years. I'll watch the Bruins for both of us. Hey, thank you very much. Go Bruins. Go Bruins. Hey, I might be moving to Texas or Arizona, but I'll tell you what. I uh, I bleed Boston sports. So thank you, Casey, so much for everything you do. You uh, watch all the videos. You comment on all the videos. You're a Discord or um, a Patreon supporter. Uh, you share all the videos. You're the best. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Seahawks fan myself. Man, that was a rough Super Bowl. Why didn't you just? Why didn't you give it to Marshawn Lynch? Uh, how much more till a thousand? Oh, you guys got a way to go. I don't think I'm shaving my mustache. Um, from Niagara, do you recommend the nighttime here? House is steady yet? Uh, it's up to you. It's up to you. Um, yeah. Oh, so Lilith actually did die. Okay. Well, in that case, not clickbait. My condolences. So. I don't, I, when I, when I, I do kind of like uh smack talk Donnie, but, um, Donnie and I are friends. So like, it's all just in case you actually think nerd and I hate each other. We don't, uh, I like Kevin, Donnie and I talk, we're friends. So it, it's all cool. It's just all in like good fun. So if I made someone uncomfortable, it's just a joke. Uh, see Manny 1975. Hey, Ricky, nine ninety nine. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, why do Americans use the imperial system, not the metric system? That's a good question, man. But in Canada, we kind of do too. Like, so we kilometers an hour on the road. Uh, we use Fahrenheit if it's a swimming pool or a house temperature. But outside temperature is Celsius. We use liters for gas, but gallons for everything else. I don't know. Canada is weird, man. But that's because Canada used to be imperial and then we switched over to metric. Like the U.S. tried to do, but just never did. Looking to get a t-shirt, what do you recommend? Shane O'Reilly. Hey, well, thanks for the two backwards E's. Um, my favorite one is uh, the the green Ekans one. That, honestly, I wear that one all the time. I think it looks awesome. It looks amazing. Uh, Aaron going to kick cheating Brady. Are you still butthurt about the half of PSI that was missing? And then also was missing in the other footballs and debunked by the criminal justice system. And scientists, anyway, I'm not going to talk bad about you too much, Line Destroyer, because you sent me a bunch of money and you're awesome. But uh, hey, if you're not cheating, you ain't trying. And if you think that every other team wasn't doing the same thing, uh, again, 
You're probably right. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what though, Aaron Rodgers is one hell of a talent. I like, like I said, I'm a football fan, uh, I'm a Brady fan because I was a Patriots fan my entire life. But um, that will be an amazing game, and I honestly, uh, Aaron Rodgers is one of the best uh, of all time. So, but not as good as Brady. Uh, are you happy to never you to use a bag? Are you happy to never use bag milk again? So we don't buy bag milk anyway because we don't go through it enough. <clears throat> Michelle puts milk in her tea. And sometimes I eat Magic Spoon ever since they sent me like 400 boxes or whatever they sent, they sent me like six boxes. The cereal is actually good. If you watch the video and you're like, oh, Adam, is this cereal actually good? I never endorse anything that isn't actually, like, honestly, I want them to send me more. That's the only thing we use. Uh, room tour. Yes, we're getting to it in just a second here. Sorry. To, I know. <clears throat> oh, what is bag milk? So in Canada, in Ontario and Quebec, for whatever reason, our milk doesn't come in a carton. You can buy carton milk, but they come in bags. You buy them four liters at a time, but it's three bags. So it's 1.33 liters in a bag. You have to buy a pitcher to stick the bag in and then you cut, just Google it. Just Google bag milk. It is wild. It is wild. It is so silly. Uh, <clears throat> we have to give away one more shirt, right? Or did we give away three? Did we give away three? Uh, yeah, Magic Spoon is pricey, but everything premium is kind of pricey, right? Um, why do Canadians want to declare war on me? All I said, I, do, I don't like maple syrup. That's that's war. Yeah, we have to give away one, one more shirt. <clears throat> um, how does a leopard gecko need their heat mat to be? Uh, watch the leopard gecko care guide. That's the other thing with Discord too. I'll get people. Hey, what what temperature should I? It's like, did you watch the video? Well, no. Well, watch the video. Well, can't you answer the question? I spent 20 hours making the video. Like, go watch it. It takes 12 minutes. Um, not saying that that you're doing that. I'm just saying in, like, we're talking about DMs earlier. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so again, uh, Rick, Patrick, Casey, uh, Lion Destroyer, thank you guys so much. Um, you guys are amazing. Like, to send that much money to some bald idiot screaming at a camera is, like, beyond incredible yeah new brunswick has bag milk too new brunswick also speaks the weirdest version of french ever acadian french uh i used to date this girl and her, her uh grandfather was like acadian french and he spoke acadian french you couldn't understand what this guy was saying when he spoke french or english it was just a mix that guy was awesome but it was hilarious do you think patrick mahoney and tom patrick mahomes is that and tom brady are like jordan and lebron no patrick mahomes has been in the league for what five years not even close. Patrick has not earned that at all yet. Um, I think what Tom Brady has done with two teams is more impressive than what Jordan did, in a sense. Um, no disrespect to Jordan. I think Jordan is the greatest. Uh, and that whole Jordan and LeBron thing, the, the more time goes on, the more I – I don't know. I'm just a huge sports fan. And, um, yeah, I think the most dominant athlete of all time – in a time when there wasn't six teams, is Tom Brady. Because you can go back and be like Babe Ruth and be like, okay, well, Babe Ruth didn't have uh, black or Latino players in the league, so how competitive really was it? Um, and then people will say uh, Bill Russell. Well, Bill Russell played at a time when the Lakers were still in the ABA. Like, there was like 12 teams. So I don't think that has the merit of today's leagues. That's all I'm saying. How is the inflation in Canada? Inflation is, drum roll, 7.2% this year. Yeah. So I sold a house last year. All of that money sitting in a bank account is depreciated 7%. So thank you, Canada. And I, oh, this country. Uh, anyway, Todd Danielson, 100, 100 bucks. You're ridiculous, dude. I might be shaving a mustache. How close are we? We are $222 away. Uh, thank you very much. Congratulations. And thanks for the great content. Todd Danielson. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, you are awesome. L 10 Canadian dollars. Can you please name your new, our new crusty? My nine-year-old Ben watches your binge watches your channel and would be thrilled. Well, thank you to your nine-year-old. First of all, second of all, Cresta Gecko, uh, Clarington, Clarington, the crusty. And by the way, if you're wondering like, oh, this guy just, he doesn't even put in any effort into thinking about it. I don't, I named my golden retriever Stevie the Treaty. Okay. So I named my own animals like this. Clarington the Crested Gecko. 
Are you shaving your mustache yet? $778. So we're $222 away, if my math is right. <sighs> Poe is a sick name. Oh, I got to drink some of this. Is that real? Oh. Lion Destroyer won. $299. So I guess we're there, right? Yeah. Crap. Okay. Well, all right. Deal's the deal. Lion Destroyer here. One second. Walk upstairs then. Um, okay, do you want to see the mustache shave first or should we do the reptile room and then shave the mustache? It's up to you. I'm going to shave it live, of course. Of course. $20. Uh, L, $20. Ah, we are streaming. Thank you. All the best. Clarentino it is. That's a sick name. Um, I'm not shaving the beard too. I can't. I gotta, I can't. Um, young smoke bowl, 33, 33. Let me know when you run out of the hot sauce. Uh, I'm almost done. You mad scientist. The, the mad scientist is more kicking up for you. Breaking bad. Nah, talking, burning bad. Oh, chili, right? Cause the chili was a secret ingredient. How did you like the, so the last ones that you made me do were good, but I'll, they were great, but I'll tell you what there is not like Reaper sweetheart has been the best by far. You should shave your beard and leave your mustache. Uh, no. Uh, the deal is mustache. A deal is a deal. I'm going to do it. I just, I'm trying to get Michelle's attention. Is it back? Is it back? Is it back? Is that no audio, really? Hey, man, in the well left major. Okay, it's back. All right, sorry. Oh, you know what it was? Because I my Siri was on. That's what it was. Hey, man, I'm a wildlife major and minoring in herp and planning on becoming a breeder. So your videos have helped me a bunch. Awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, I know what I can do. Here, here. sorry. Yeah. Is Back now, right? Is it back? Oh, this is so annoying. Yeah, so every time someone tries to call me or I try to call someone from the watch, it this the sound goes back. Okay, so now I understand. Um, oh, I was going to Facebook her because I can't text her because I'm using my phone and I can't call her because of the audio. So I can go on Facebook and I can message her that way. So I just don't want to leave this and then have to go and come back. Like, I don't want you to think I'm trying to get out of it. I will shave this mustache right now. Um, where is she? Yeah. Shall part. Anyway, um, please. You guys want to meet Stevie too? Please bring down Stevie. And yeah, I'll get her to bring down Stevie and then she can go back up and get the razor. How about that? Or the shaver thing. Did I miss anything? I'll message her. My mom's going to message her. <laughs> this is so silly. This is so silly. Play Fortnite on stream. I've never played Fortnite in my life. I don't have time. Madden though. If you guys want to play Madden, I don't even know what my online name is. I never play. Okay, order of operations. You've been doing this for a while. I don't want to go over too long. We're going to bring down Stevie. We're going to meet Stevie. She'll do a little dance for you. Super cute. We're going to show uh, the reptile room. 
And now we're going to shave the mustache. So, yeah. What, uh, oh, we got to give away a shirt. Okay, so, uh, uh, hot sauce. Hashtag hot sauce right now. Let it go, and then I'll pick uh, a name in like two minutes. You should check on Kevin later. He wants to quit. Ah, I'll check on Kevin later. Jets fan here. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, that was so rude. Well, the last time you were in the playoffs was 2010, I think. I think I have viewers who were born in 2010. Here, one second. Oh, there's a Steve? Come here, Steve. Come here, baby. Stevie, come here. You guys wanna meet Steve? Oh, come here, baby. Oh, you're not in trouble. Oh, you're so big. Oh. How about this? You ready? You ready for your dance? Okay. Anyway, so this is Stevie the Trainee, and uh, she's a good girl. She she pees in the house a little bit too much, and uh, oh, so you can stop with the hot sauce. I'll pick. I'll pick in a second. Okay, Shell. So I I did this. Did your mom? Did my mom message you? Your mom called me. And okay. Said I was ruining the stream. So, uh, can you bring down my blue shaver? I made a Are thing. Are you really shaving your mustache? I have to. I have to, I'm sorry. Oh, you guys no. made Shell upset. She's gonna cry. You can stop with the hot sauce. I'll pick in a second. Okay, so shaving cream? No, 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 just my blue trimmer thing. Okay. And I'll just, because it, it gets down to basically like a shave anyway. Okay. So. Anything else? Uh, nope, just bring that down and um, I'll, I'll give you Stevie back and then I'll shave my mustache. Okay. 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 Uh, okay, so anyway, let's pick a hot sauce winner because, uh, Okay, the winner is uh, Danielle Walker. So Danielle Walker, just message me, wickensbegoodreptiles at gmail.com. And uh, <clears throat> Danielle Walker, young smoke pole, Canadian $5. Hey Adam, during reptile tour, eat a pickle with my hot sauce. Come on, make a bro happy. <laughs> I'll uh, have to buy a shirt of yours soon. I know you're upset, Shell, but... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll be handsome again someday. It's for the views. It's for the views. And then also, from Adrian, can you bring down the tall bottle of hot sauce? The one you like? Yeah, the one I like. All right. I'm such a shill. Like, you can stop with the hot sauce. Someone already won. <laughs> Someone already won. Okay, so Stevie will just do a little dance for you. Okay, ready? What about, like, the Phil Collins? All right, and then we'll give Stevie back. We'll do a little uh, reptile room tour. We'll eat a pickle with some hot sauce. Then we'll shave a mustache. How about that? Okay, I'll trade you this for the hot sauce. I'm gonna look Amish. <laughs> I'll be watching. I know, thanks. Bye, Here's Steve. Come here. Don't let her pee in the room, please. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do Wolverine's beard. Hey, the... Uh, Stevie's for, <laughs> uh, send me your mustache in the mail. Okay, so here's the hot sauce. All right, we've got so many things on the go here, but I'm gonna do all of them, because I don't, remember back in the day when I was uh, friends with Professor Herp and that other guy, and then we did that challenge, and then he didn't do the challenge? I'm not like that. Anyway, hot sauce. Um, that was like 20,000 subscribers. Most of you have no idea what I'm talking about, but some of you do. Okay. I'm gonna do this on this first, so I'm just gonna go sanitize my hands, which is right there. <coughs> uh, Richard, <coughs> it's going to take a year to grow that mustache back. <coughs> Thanks, Rick. I appreciate it. Okay, so one sec, I sort of sanitize my hands because I don't want to get my salmonella hands back in that jar of pickles. And uh, let's do a little hand sanitization real quick. My hand sanitizer was clogged up, so it's now sprayed all over my face and my. <coughs> Sorry, I went down the wrong pipe. I went down the wrong, went down the wrong pipe. So what do you guys think about Stevie? What do you guys think about Stevie? 30 people are back, 35. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. All right, okay, all right. Okay, you guys pick, reptile room first or mustache shave, it doesn't matter. It's up to you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna grab one of these pickles, put some hot sauce on it. This hot sauce is hot, by the way. This hot sauce is no freaking joke. Uh, gonna get a paper towel and uh, I'm on a breath. I'm choking. 
Imagine you just show up. Hey man, there's Wiccan's uh, Wicked Reptiles channel. Uh, so Reptile Room first and then the stash. Okay. This is Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles channel. Uh, he's shaving his mustache. What's going on? <laughs> this is so ridiculous. You guys are amazing. I can't even be upset. Money for me, money for US Ark. Money for Stevie, really. Okay. Barbecue flare. Okay, so this, I don't know what the Scoville units are on this. I've had hot sauces from around the world. And I'll tell you what, this is so freaking hot. <sighs> Do it Hunger Games style. I never watched Hunger Games. I don't know what that means. How did this happen? So basically what happened was uh, I made a stupid bet because we were nowhere close that if I made a thousand bucks on the stream, I would shave my mustache. So now I got to shave my mustache. We're just going to do like a little dab, like the last dab, right? Call me Sean Evans. All right, there we go. Ooh, that was a lot, bro. Okay. This hot sauce is no joke. This is going to hurt. Bro, I thought we were friends, Adrian. <coughs> Come on. Oh my goodness. You must have <coughs> heard some bug money. Thanks, Bob, for yourself. Adrian, bottle this stuff, get it distributed, we'll make a million dollars here. This is the best hot sauce. I've ever had. There's only 15 Reapers in it, man. Probably something like 5 million Scovilles. Yeah, burn bro. Holy. Ugh. Can you imagine showing up at this point in the stream being like, what is going on? Natalie's Reptiles, five bucks. <coughs> Sorry I'm late. What did I miss other than you're trying to kill yourself with hot sauce? Okay. <coughs> so basically, um, we're at like 200 bucks. Someone's like, hey, how much money have you made in this stream, right? I'm just shaving a mustache. Holy cow. Patrick, show the American viewers a bag of milk. I don't have any bag of milk at, at my house, but... <coughs> Bro, that hot sauce is so good, but it is so hot. Okay, we'll do a quick reptile room tour, real quick, and then we'll shave the mustache, and then we'll get out of here and go on a Discord stream, okay? No audio. <coughs> it's back? It's back, okay. Okay, ready? Bro. I love this. Like... This is what I do for a job. Are you kidding me right now? I used to sit in an office and hate my life. This is amazing. Okay, ready? <coughs> All right, ready? Okay, so I'll tell you. Uh, the reptile, oh, close that door. The reptile room right now <coughs> is kind of okay. So I started cleaning it and I ran out of time. So some of the enclosures aren't completely done yet. so hot okay so we'll start at the bottom we're just gonna do like a quick one because we're gonna do excuse me it's so hot bro okay so we got kratos here who just had a big shed right can you see kratos in his big shed um so his uh oh and some of these enclosures might not even have water bowls some of them don't have hides it's just because um they're all in a sink soaking because i started cleaning this and then um, hey Donnie, what's up? And then once, uh, <coughs> and then once they're done soaking, I'll, anyway, so I saw a big milk in the sky. So I, I hit on my goals. Cool. Jimmy, um, has a dowel that goes across because he's an arboreal species, right? So the dowel is soaking, his hide is soaking. He does have a water bowl in here, but anyway, so this is like the size of his enclosure for now, but it, Again, uh, a finished one would look more like this one here. So this is the one you saw me do 
I know the audio will come back. I know. Sorry. Uh, this is a ball python enclosure. Pikachu's in here. I'm like drooling. My mouth is on fire. Yeah, the sound will come back. I know the sound is lightning. It'll come back. It happened before. It'll come back. <laughs> Let's see. This Apple Watch is great, except for it ruins the stream. Uh, so they all are supposed to look like this, and they do, which is things are um, soaking. Ball python in here. Again, all the decor is soaking. So, oh, there's a shed in there I got to pick up too. There's another ball python in this one here. Um, can you, I have the Discord link. Yeah, uh, one of the admins will send it to you. And then up here, I can't, here. Uh, they're all fogged up, but more ball pythons up here. So when they get big enough, they go from these enclosures into enclosures like this one right here, okay? And then we have some, so here's a Dumo's bow in here, same thing, all the decor. So these lights just went, they're normally white, but now they're rainbow because, I don't know, they're damaged. So I have to fix them. I just have to redo them. And the way that I do it <coughs> is I have all the thermostats on the side like this, right? So... Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have <laughs> like a, a piece of PVC here to kind of like, so it doesn't look as bad as it looks like there's a few things in this room that aren't done yet. Right? Like I got to put vents in still and things like that. Right? So that's why we haven't done a tour because it's not done. Um, so the, uh, Franny, the BCI is in here where is she right there. So, which is way too small. She's getting an upgrade to this one here which is eight feet. This one is eight foot by four foot by three foot. So she's getting an upgrade. <clears throat> We're just not done. Uh, yeah, it's in my basement. Um, so uh, yeah, so she's getting a, <clears throat> what's well, a basement. So she's getting an upgrade. I just gotta put the heat panels in and furnish it and then she can go in there. So hopefully tonight, maybe tomorrow. So I'm not exactly sure when we're gonna do it. And then we just did the uh, hog nose snake enclosure. So Ekans is in here. And then this side, you put Big Lou. Oh, he's underneath his, hey, can you guys see Big Lou? So he's in a bigger enclosure. Um, yeah, it's right there. He's in a bigger enclosure. It's just getting cleaned out right now. We've got <laughs> another ball python enclosure that's fully done. This one's completely cleaned out. They all look like this when they're clean. So don't worry, I don't have them without hides and decor and things like that. It's just that they're getting cleaned. And then down here, same sort of thing. There's a smaller ball python in here. A small Dumeril's boa in this side, uh, blue tongue skink down here, and then the skinks are down here now too. And there is a corn snake who I've actually never introduced you to in there. Um, and the light is off. Actually, the light burned out, so I have to. But there's lights in that closet right there. So <laughs> anyway, um, oh the tag is upstairs. She's uh, brumating. So. Um, Oh, the Aki's upstairs too because she's in quarantine. And then the rest of this room, which is like kind of dirty, but there's some enclosures right here, some enclosures right there, enclosure right there, all these enclosures. Anyway, I'm purposely making this like very quick because I have to do a full reptile room tour and I don't want to like spoil it. So here, so let me put this back in here and then we'll shave a mustache. How about that? Hey, one sec. Sorry. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Bro, that hot sauce is no joke. Is no joke. I'm like out of breath from the hot sauce and choking. And I'm asthmatic. Oh, yeah. If you get COVID and you're asthmatic, you think that you would die. It was no big deal for me. Not to say that to get, like, I'm not recommending it. <laughs> I'm just saying I got lucky. <clears throat> so, anyway. How about a special round of applause for Lion Destroyer 1? You donated how much money? Like 500 bucks? Probably more than 500 bucks this stream? That is ridiculous. So, um, yeah. And every, like Sherry LBW, uh, Rick, <coughs> Casey, um, uh, uh, Todd. There's so many. I don't want to start naming because I'm going to forget. But, like, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're going. Back and forth between nerds stream. My condolences to Lilith. That is brutal. Uh, I was tripping Donnie earlier, but I didn't realize, like, I'm sorry. Uh, Donnie and I are friends, by the way, if you just turned in. So it's just all in good fun. Um, yeah, all of you rock. All of you rock. Okay. <clears throat>
Let's shave a mustache. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put some paper towel on my lap so that it uh, all falls on the paper towel and I can just shove it in the garbage, right? Okay, hold on, let's have a drink. Good luck. Can we have your mustache hair? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know, you want me to save it? Sure, send me an email, I'll send it to you. <clears throat> send me an email with 10 bucks to cover shipping. <laughs> I'll send it to you. All right. Okay, here we go. Asthma sucks. I can't even laugh at loud without needing an inhaler. I know, same. My battery's about to die on this. All right. Let's get shaven. Oh, oh no, what happened? Okay, there we go. It's really hard to see. Here, hold on. Let me, hold on. I want to get close so you can see. Let's get real close. Let's get, uh, we'll be like Garth Brooks. Let's get physical when we're playing music. Should I just leave it like this? Oh, I should have shaved it. Oh, that would be bad though. Is this good? Here, let me just take a break real quick. So you can, uh, gets in your mouth though. All right. So anyway, uh, welcome to the Wiccan's Wicked Reptile stream. Nothing weird going on here. Definitely not drinking warm pop and pickle juice and shaving mustaches. I want to thank all of you. Wow. Uh, for being here and doing this for some reason. This is so funny. <laughs> this is so funny. Um, anyway, I feel like this is almost disrespectful. Nerd is like breaking down and I'm here shaving a mustache like an idiot. Uh, yeah. No, the pickle juice has been down here since we were doing the stream and we're an hour and a half in, so. It's pretty warm. Hold on. It's hard to see. Okay. Oh, it's gonna burp. It's Charlie Chaplin. That's what I was gonna do, but then everyone's gonna be like, ah, oh, it's Hitler. I don't wanna do that. Okay. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. And for all the <coughs> for all of you who think I was CG, CG, CGI, it wasn't. There's all the hair right there. And that person who wants me to send it to them, if you're serious, I will. If not, it's going in the garbage. So anyway, I don't know after you've seen that why you would stick. I look so ridiculous right now. Is this real? No, put it back. Okay, an extra thousand bucks and I'll glue it back on my face. How about that? All right, ready? Look at it. It's a kind of a delay. And then look at, bro, I made a mistake. <laughs> Mr. Green Magic Eraser. Uh, all right. Uh, Carnage Slays TTV. Do you have any ideas on ways to safely trap? Oh, we're going back to reptile questions now. Is that where we're at? Come on. Uh, do you have any ideas on a way to say to safety trap an escape snake? My hundred milk snake gets loose. Not really, man. You just kind of have to find it. Kind of. You know what I realized <clears throat> for Monday's video? I have not. So Monday's video is mostly a voiceover, but I haven't done the intro or the outro yet. So now I have to look like this. I'm just gonna. I'm sorry, Michelle. Um, 
yeah. Anyway, Wiccan's Amish reptiles. Um, <laughs> Why does Shreya Wiccan more funds? Imagine he just sends an extra thousand bucks and makes me glue it to my face. Don't do that. Don't do that. That would be, yeah. Young Smokeball. Hey, now Adam is young Amish. Congrats. You are likely the first reptile YouTuber in history to do a reptile stream tour while up on a hot sauce. Bro, this hot sauce is no joke. I'm just starting to feel my mouth again. So honestly, dude, please make me more of this. I'll pay for it, whatever. I don't care. That's the other thing too. This guy just shows up and gives me hot sauce that he's worked on. And I know how much you, like how much work it is to make hot sauce um, and just gives it to me. Like you are, man, Adrian, you are amazing, dude. Thank you so much. Just you, everything, like you're amazing. You're amazing. Uh, yeah, tattoo is back on. I'm not getting my face tattooed, bro. That's just not a thing that's going to happen. <clears throat> to get a Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles tattoo, I should do that, though. Uh, oh, you got Emerald Tree Skinks today? That's awesome. Good for you. That is awesome. Lion Destroyer, we need more than ever. Man, Lion Destroyer has done enough for this stream, right? Todd, Casey, Rick, Lion Destroyer, you guys have done enough. Please do not send me any more money. It is not needed. Um, if we, I'm going to end the stream soon because we've been doing this for 106 minutes. If we get an extra thousand bucks in the next five minutes, I'll glue it back to my face. But otherwise, I think we've done enough ridiculousness for one day. Uh, <laughs> this has been way more fun than editing videos. Thanks, Adam. Hey, uh, listen, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is the most ridiculous stream. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing up. I don't even know what to say. Like, link to Discord. There's a link to Discord in the description below that you can click. Uh, or the admin team, Max or Sage, will post it because they're awesome. So, uh, man, this is so ridiculous. I can't believe I shaved my mustache line on this trip. Nah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Bishop the Stream, Adam. Hey, no problem. Dainty Dinosaurs, I appreciate it. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Um, oh, did we give away the last shirt? Oh, yeah, we did because it was hashtag hot sauce. Yeah. Yeah, Shell is rad. She's pretty, she's pretty dope. <sighs> yeah. I don't know what Paul's hardware is, but a lot of people think that's what this is. I don't know what that is. Is it an Amish show? I used to sell uh, stuff to Mennonites, and they kind of had similar facial hair going on. Also, they pooped in buckets. So. Anyway, um, hey, no problem. Taco and Yoshi Gaming, thank you. It's because of you I got over my fear of reptiles. Now, yeah, proud owner of the Bearded Dragon named Yoshi. Hey, thank you for showing up. Thanks for watching. I can't even look at my own face. <laughs> this is so silly. Uh, thanks. I appreciate it for sure. I'm going to have to shave his beard down a bit so it matches. What did I do? <laughs> I think it's funny. I'm not even mad. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. I'm glad that you got a bearded dragon named Yoshi. I have a uh, uh, crested gecko named Yoshi. Yeah, my upper lip's going to be so cold. I told you it was minus 14. You guys are mean. Next stream will go for the eyebrows. Uh, in a few years, I'm moving to Canada. To see you there. No, you won't. I'll be living in the States. If I'm not living in the States in a few years, something went terribly wrong, and I will move somewhere else. I will move to Costa Rica, Nicaragua, uh Timbuktu, I'm out of here, bro. I'm out of here. You will not see me here in a couple years. All right. I think we're done here, right? All right. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, hop on Discord. I'll be there in a couple minutes, and we'll do uh, – uh, we'll do like a hangout on Discord voice chat if you guys want. Natalie's ripped out with two bucks. I just got a beardy two named her Riker. That's cool. Riker's a, a sick name. I don't even know what it means, but I like it. Aggressive. It's tough. It's a tough name. So, All right, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys on Discord in like 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> you guys are so silly. Peace out.